Hi, in this video, we're gonna explore some of the elements of the spike prime. We're gonna have a look at the light sensor. So mm -hmm. over to James. Okay, so using the, the, the light sensor, and, and you can see here an example, you can basically use it to, for, for the robot to detect the environment around it. In this case, we're gonna detect different colors. Okay, so you can plug it into any of the ports and then it should switch on. And when it does, you can see it lights up. That tells us we've got a connection. Okay, so if we jump to the program itself, you can see here, I'll click up, well, I've already made the connection, if you like, to the, uh, to the computer and I can expand out. And you can see here, I can get a reading here in the dashboard about what colors are shown in front of the sensor. So if I hold this up and I, you can see at the moment, it's giving me a negative one indication. And if I put a green in front of it, it's giving me a five. So it's using numbers to represent the colors as well. So you can see it shows up with the green and five. If I pick up the red, I can put that in front of it. Now the optimal distance for this sensor to work is about one centimetre away from the object. It, won't, it can't read colour across the room. You have to bring the object up close to this actual sensor itself. And you can see there, it's giving me a nine for red. Okay, and each different colour. And we can program it to have different behaviours, depending on the, the robot to have different behaviours, depending on what colour we put in front of it. Okay. For example, could you... What, so, what could we could get it to, when we put a green in front of it, it might be green for go. So you can have your robot driving along, and then when you wave red in front of it, it will stop. Okay. And are they reasonably robust, the, the light sensors? Oh, absolutely. Are they? Yeah, yeah, they're really, they're well put together, strong, yeah, little, little sensors in that right. regard. Okay. And you can see the shape of them is designed in that rectangular mode mm. to easily clip on and fit with the, the hubs as well. Now, the other thing you can do, so that's using it in colour mode. The way it actually works is really quickly, faster than the eye can see, it's sending out a flash of red, flash of green, and a flash of blue, so RGB. And then, depending on how much of that colour is reflected back into the light sensor, it will determine whether it's a green shape, in, a green colour in front of it, red colour, or blue. And it's worth noting that they're basically tuned to, to be, you know, to, to work with Lego colours. Okay, so the optimal way to have them, they'll work with other greens and those sort of things, but the, they're tuned, if you like, to optimise to work with Lego colours. Now, there's another way you can use these sensors as well, and that's in reflected light mode. So you can see here I swap, swapped it over on the screen, and it's now working out how much of that light, that white light that's reflected out of it, is being reflected back up into the sensor. So if I hold it about a centimetre away on the white surface, you can see I'm getting a red reading of 95%. If I move it over the black line, you can see the reading has dropped down to 30%. So we can use that in that reflected light mode to detect when we're, when we're driving over a black line, that sort of thing. So it's the, the beginnings of line following, if you, if you like. Yeah, so we can use that. Okay, so that's essentially a, a simple overview of how the colour sensor works. And how many come in the kit? You get one in a kit, and then for activities, with that you can follow the edge of a line, okay? But if you're wanting to you know, follow, really sort of track a line, it's generally a good idea to, to use a second light sensor. And you might get that from one of the other kits, or you could um, MTA sell them as well. And, so. and are they expensive to buy, reasonably priced? No, they're, they're reasonably priced, 50 or 60 dollars or something. And yes. quite a useful extra element. To oh, add. absolutely, yeah. yeah. If, if you're interested in going in things like competitions or line following, they're really handy. There's also one included in the ins expansion pack as right. well. Yeah. So in the ins expansion pack, you can you get a uh, the electronic, apart from all the different bits of Lego and the bigger wheels and those sort of things, you get a colour sensor and you get a large, an extra large motor as well, which can be useful. Yeah, that's wonderful. Yeah. Great. Okay, thanks very much, James.